Good morning. Happy weekend, everybody. I have a Joker's MPU. This, this is the dirtiest MPU board I have ever seen, and I've washed it once, and uh, whatever is on it is still clinging to it. It had alkaline corrosion under the battery holder, typical thing, and I had to rebuild a bunch of traces up here where the 4.7K SIP resistors are. And uh, the 6821 at U41 was damaged, so I've replaced that also. Uh, I've replaced the uh, three power filter caps, two in the sound section over here. I had a little issue with segment M, and that was a discontinuity where I thought I had patched the trace pretty well under there. It's really impossible to see, but it was still open, so I have that fixed now. Now, Jokers... The storm is over. The storm Jokers, I was about to say, has a unique soundboard, so, and I don't have one, nor do I know how to connect the damn thing, because the uh, schematics are pretty rude. I put whatever I could find in the pin wiki, but I'd still be hesitant to connect one up. Anyway, I've got the D11581 fully populated with Whirlwind ROMs. I'm not sure this is going to work. It didn't look like it was going to work there just now. Let's uh, try to get into test again. The storm, the storm. That's not going to work. All right, let's try it again. I've got Whirlwind ROMs in the MPU board now and Whirlwind ROMs in the sound board. I suppose there's probably a ROM set that uh, for the sound board that might be compatible with Jokers. I don't know. I really don't have time to figure that out. So let's just test the complete board capability with Whirlwind ROMs and see what happens. Okay, so all of those sounds are coming from the soundboard. And that proves that the interface through this narrower of the two ribbon cables uh, is working correctly. And that is driven through, I can't remember, either U41 or U42, but all the traces up to there are working properly now. So let's get into the next test, which is display test. And let me get the right buttons pressed. And again, I had a problem with the M segment, and that was due to a dicey trace. The M segment, you can see here, is the one that it's at the 3 o'clock position. And there it is. The top display is M segment, or the regular segments, I'll say. The bottom display is the prime segments and the schematics. That beating that just introduced itself is an interaction with the overhead fluorescent lights. Uh-oh, looks like rain. Obviously whirlwind sounds, that's working correctly. Lamps all being driven at the same time. Individual lamps. Press the wrong darn button again. Oh well. Solenoid test. Well, what do you see in here? You see in a green LED light followed by the green on the left and a red one. That's the AC select relay working properly. And now these are the eight non-multiplexed solenoids and next will be the special solenoids which are the six yellow ones on the right we can drive those from their switches also and the next test is switch levels switch edges with whirlwind roms there should be a total of 64 switches reported and of course there are this is a kind of a cool test that works for um, Whirlwind. 
it's testing the A, A side, C side select relay. And I have to take this switch off, this uh, report switch 12 for other boards. But we are working correctly with Whirlwind. Uh, I would set this to free play, but it's not going to do a darn bit of good because I'm going to change the ROMs back to Jokers. But I can consider this MPU working 100%, and I thank you so much. An 11C MPU, and I've built this sort of uh, uh, second story on my power supply box, which has just got stilts to hold up other than the regular System 11 power supplies. So let's check this. This had a uh, problem with one of the neg or the negative 100 volts was off. And here's the minus 12, so that proves all of those. There's the plus 100. If I can get my probe on the pin. I put these uh, headers on there to keep myself from shorting pins together inadvertently and ruining my work. So there's the negative high voltage. I replaced both the uh, 39K resistors there and uh, the Zener ZR4, everything else was good. Usually I replace the whole power supply section, but it, it just wasn't necessary in this case.